know what time it is. We are gonna dye our hair today. Well, I'm dyeing my hair today. I don't know why I say we. I just feel like we're doing this together. Like every time I film a video, I'm like, we. It's not gonna be that crazy of a change or anything like that. The past few times I dyed my hair was a demi-permanent color because I didn't want to commit to a permanent hair dye. Also, I've actually been pretty content with the dark brown that I have, which is very surprising because I used to be so stir crazy with my hair colors and I just always wanted something new, something different. Like I needed that kick of dopamine, you know what I mean? Something like, ooh la la, I don't know, I don't know. I love the dark color and if you know, you know. If you love dark colors, if you have a dark, dark hair color, if you know, you know that to us, to the people with the dark, dark hair, it's like, I, I, once I get used to it, I want to see it darker and darker and darker. Give me the darkest, the darkest color you can have. Give it to me. Cause even though this is extremely dark to somebody, this probably is considered black to some people. I feel like people who have blonde hair think that this is black and you're wrong. This is brown. It's dark brown. <laughs> But literally, I know so many blonde haired people that are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to dye my hair black. And then they dye their hair and it's, I'm like, that's brown. I almost said the B word. Sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying so hard to not swear as much on my channel, but listen, I'm not a role model. Okay. Anyways, these bees will literally be like, I dyed my hair black and it's literally brown. I'm like, you're blind. As you can see, it is very rich on the bottom. Loving the color on the bottom, I think it's gorgeous. But in my opinion, and I could be crazy, I'm not denying that, but in my mind, in my brain, what I see here is like an ashy tone on the top and that is my new growth. Like I probably have so much new growth. Uh, this is almost my natural hair color. All of this is obviously my natural hair color. And it's just a little bit on the ashy side. So when you bring the dark hair up here, like call me crazy, but I see a difference. I've been wanting to dye my hair with a permanent hair color to kind of like damage it a little bit. Hear me out, hear me out. Remember how I told you guys, well, if you're an avid watcher, you'll know, but I, I've told my subscribers before that I like when my hair's like a smidge damaged because it holds a curl better and it holds a hairstyle much better. It's a little bit more easily manipulated. And when you have healthy, silky, gorgeous hair, yes, it's shiny and it's beautiful and it's slippery, but it's slippery. So that means it's not holding a curl. And like I, you know, I curled my hair and it's already like fallen out. And that was literally maybe an hour ago. And I'm like, I really want to I really want my hair to like stay in the hairstyle and you know healthy hair is all good and it feels so soft but it's like hard to style it so I'm totally down with doing a box color here's where I plug my disclaimer I am not a hairstylist I am not recommending you do what I do I am simply a person that records her life and puts it on the internet and I want to dye my hair today and that's what I'm doing so you can see the process and the results and that is it not telling you what to do not promising you're gonna like the results not Okay, okay, disclaimer, not a professional, not a professional. This is for the ladies who like to save money and don't wanna go spend an arm and a leg to do their hair differently. So here I have the Revlon Color So Beautiful Color, all right? This was $3.47 at Walmart, woo-hoo, for the budget babes. I used to use this box dye all the time in the black color and I really loved it. Like it stayed really nice and my hair was really soft and silky afterwards. Like. Nothing wrong with it, even though it's cheap. Now, is there a lot of chemicals that are technically bad for you? Of course. I got the shade Brown Black 20, and I was so excited they had this because I really want a dark, dark color, but I don't want to put a black box dye on my hair. So I do, I do love how dark, 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 dark brown looks. So this is Brown Black, and I don't know if you can see and it'll probably look darker than this. Like my hair will probably come out darker than what the box looks like. That's the one thing about this brand, you guys. Be aware because whatever color is on the box, it's gonna be darker than that, period, point blank. I've used the black, which you can't tell because that's black. And I've used the deep burgundy and the deep burgundy literally came out looking like black, like actually. So just be aware. Uh, this is for the girlies who love dark hair because it's going to come out darker 
than what you expect. Now, here's the downside. They only had one of these at Walmart today, so we're gonna make it work. I don't know how it's gonna work because I probably should use two, but we gonna make it work. Before we get started, I wanna go ahead and remind you guys that the coldest Black Friday is happening now. There's door busters, like random door busters, where they'll take off like 50% off of certain things. But in general, all through the month of November, everything on the site is 20% off. And I do have those links down below if you are interested. Um, guys, I love this one so much better than the big one. I don't know why, because it's like easier to hold like this. I don't know. This comes with me everywhere. Um, she did take a little tumble today, but she survived. I dropped, I dropped her by accident but she survived she's not broken this is why you need one of these because like those like cheap plastic ones you drop them they're broken they're cracked um anyways all the info is down below for you guys coupon codes and sales go get you a coldest water bottle they also have other products like the coldest pillow if you like a cold pillow they have a dog bed um i believe uh they have a lot of cold things but either way drink your water girl drink your water before we head to the bathroom i obviously need to change because i'm not wearing this cute little sweater to get hair dye all over so step one wear a big t-shirt that you don't care about step two move your rugs from your bathroom because you most likely will drop it on the floor and stain your beautiful rugs step three do the damn thing and if you're like me you don't wear pants when you're dyeing your hair so what comes in the box you got your directions. Oh, ooh, it's echoing here. I'm so sorry. We're going to probably do most of this as a time lapse. But just for the first timers, um, it comes with gloves. So this is the cream developer. This is the color. You put this into here. And then you've got the conditioner, the after color conditioner. And it's important that you use this as your conditioner. I do not shampoo after I'm washing out the dye. Do not shampoo. I'm telling you, it will come, it will most likely come right out. Maybe not every, not, maybe not in every instance, but for the most part, the shampoo is just gonna make the color come right out. So don't shampoo when you are, like on the first day that you dyed your hair. Just wait a couple days and then you can shampoo. Um, I just do, I just wash it out as best I could, as best I can. And then I put the after color conditioner on and rinse that out. And that just helps seal the color in. Hope you guys know how much I love you because the only thing that sucks about dyeing your hair on camera when you use your phone as your camera is that you can't listen to music or talk on the phone to anybody. And it's fucking boring. the next day and I've straightened my hair um I'm gonna take it out of the beanie so I can show you the results I don't have the best setup because I am um in a hotel and this is doing a weird curly thing over here but that's the results so it can look black in certain lights but like you see with this like warm light bulb, it really is a brown black. Like I still see some of those brown tones in there, um, but it is darker and it's actually exactly what I wanted because I love how it's just darker on the top now and it just all, you know, flows. The color just flows. Here's a black hat. Here's a comparison that helps you. Um, maybe I can take a picture outside. I would definitely use this color again because I do like, see, like I just feel like you can see the brown, but it's just the darkest brown that you could possibly have. And I like that. I like that. It looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you got the results that you wanted to see from this if you're wanting to use this box dye. I mean, if you like really dark hair but you don't wanna buy like a jet black box dye, I think this is a really good option. It still has some sort of like softness to it. One box was plenty for me um, 
to get that done. But yeah, really happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you or at least mildly entertaining. And then uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And I'll see you in the next video.